This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Carbonite. Rob wants to help keep the party bumping. He emailed in, I'm about to start hosting a DJ night, and I'm trying to figure out what kind of setup to use. Since my music library is mainly comprised of digital files, it seems obvious to run a laptop and use something like Virtual DJ. Since all the music I'll be playing is not techno or dance, I don't need to utilize any type of beat matching, EQ manipulation, or scratching techniques. However, I really do want to utilize Q and Audition functionality to be able to preview tracks. The next problem would be having two sound cards or devices so I can map each virtual deck to the corresponding channels on the mixer. I've discovered some mixers with USB connectivity, but can't seem to find any hard info as to whether they will show up as two separate devices once connected to the laptop. If not, I would need to use my onboard sound card with an external USB sound device to achieve the ideal setup. Rob in Baltimore. Robert. No one at Revision 3 knows more about getting his DJ on laptop style than App Judgment's very own Mauricio Bolinar! Hey guys! So you're hey here. Thank I'm you. here. What's your take on this question? You, you actually, you struggled mightily with literally the exact same question. I did, exactly. And just giving a little bit of background for those who don't speak DJ, the problem here is you need at least two uh, separate outputs mm -hmm. to properly DJ. You want one master out, basically what, what everyone else hears, right. and you need another one for you to properly cue the next track. Right. So at least two. So this is a very good question, because a few years ago, all these USB devices were, uh, came out to control virtual software like Virtual DJ. Awesome, but the problem is your laptops only have one output. Right. So what do you do? There were solutions, there were two or three hundred dollar sound cards, just wasn't, wasn't cutting it. Mm -hmm. So I have a few solutions. The first one is a very cheap solution. This little guy here, this is a ten dollar USB interface basically. Plug this in and it basically, uh, Virtual DJ will, will recognize this as an output so you can send this out uh -huh. as your, your master and just use your uh, your built-in audio here as your, your headphone cue. Oh, cool. So you can mix in the box, um, which works out great. So that's, that's a whopping $11. $11. $11 solution there. That's good. There's a second uh, solution here, and this is sort of leading up to uh, what he wants to do. He wants to use an external mixer. Mm -hmm. You can buy a Newmark's DJIO. This is, a, 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 I want to say, around $70 device yeah. that's going to give you both outputs in one interface. And what's great about this is that it, this thing can actually power larger sound systems. Mm -hmm. The outputs on here, the output on these little USB devices, it's not going to sound that great. It's going to do the job. It's not going to sound that great. Right. There's a third solution. And uh, he had mentioned uh, he was looking into the Newmark 101 USB. Mm -hmm. um, I talked to Newmark so I think via it's now Twitter. Like the Newmark M1 USB compact screen. I'm, I'm reading this yes, off of, yes. of you. Yes, yes. He mentioned this in the extended <laughs> version of the email, the, the uncut version. Um, he had mentioned he was looking into this mixer. They, uh, uh, Newmark finally got back to me, and they mentioned that uh, it only has one USB uh, input. So that's not going to work for him. Newmark, however, does offer other products that have two USB ports, and it's going to do exactly what he wants to do for about 150, 200 bucks or so. Okay. Now the mouse solution. This is what I do. Um, it's a the little big more shiny involved. box. Uh, I, so I use this this device. I'm, I'm a turn, I've always been a turntable guy, so I need control here. I right. need tactile control of of. of uh, what I'm doing with the music. I need the sound card, I need the USB, um, I, I basically need one interface that does everything with a great sounding sound card. Uh, this is a Vestax uh, VCI 300 MK2, retails for about 800 bucks, a um, little pricier than, than I think what he's right. looking for. This will get the job done as well, though. That's actually probably a lot pricier than what he's looking for, but that, yeah. this, this would be like the full on, I am a serious DJ, I want to have all the cool DJ but still casual Control. enough to, to right. sort of take everywhere and do sort of the cocktail party thing that he's looking to do. But so you're, you're not going to have like your giant box full of equipment. What yeah. about somebody, somebody might be like, well, you know, I could just use like the left channel for queuing and the right oh, channel for mastering. Please, no. So this is the solution. <laughs> this is what the iPad is doing. A lot of uh, DJ software on the iPad. And this is what uh, one of the solutions that you can do on virtual DJ. Mm -hmm. It basically takes your stereo out and splits it and says, Right channel is going to be for your headphone cueing, and right. left channel is going to be for the general audience. The problem with that is you're splitting up this dynamic 
you know, spatial image. It's just not going to sound as well. Are you and, actually, wait, it's actually like dropping the entire left channel or the entire right channel? Yes. That's a bag of suck. Yes. Imagine if you're playing the <laughs> Beatles, early Beatles material where they actually, you know, split stuff right. left and right. You're going to be missing half the, half the song there. That would be bad. It's, it's sin. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, virtual, is Virtual DJ your favorite software application for this? or there's, there's I, I actually like use uh, Serato's uh, software called Hitch, mm -hmm. but Virtual DJ is... Um, a very good solution to, to his okay. what he wants to do here. I'm just going to call it a problem. It's not a problem. Right. So, but so for if he's got Virtual DJ for 11 bucks, he can get rolling, and done for 100 bucks, he can get doing amazing stuff, and for 800 bucks, he can have the full thing. Exactly. Dude, Mauricio, awesome yes. information as always. Yeah. What's coming up on App Judgment this week? Uh, we're going to be covering uh, a lot of stuff from Macworld from last mm -hmm. week. We're going to be sort of uh, putting out some of the material that we covered there. And um, always good fun games, good apps, good pro productivity apps, everything that's new. Rubicity.com slash App Judgment. Check it out, people. More Techzilla coming up. But before we do that, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. Computer disasters, look, they're going to happen to you. They've happened to Robert, they've happened to me, they've happened to Veronica. Pretty much everybody we know at one point or another has lost some data. System crash, stolen computer, a virus wipes out your machine, a fire burns your system to the ground. They all mean the same thing. Your data is lost. But if you have Carbonite Online Backup before your disaster, you got no need to worry because your files are going to be backed up automatically and safely off-site, as in away from the disaster. And it's super easy to get them back. With Carbonite, you get anytime, anywhere access from your backed up files. Any computer, smartphone, iPad, you got a free Carbonite app that lets you get to your stuff. Plus, you get unlimited backup for your PC or your Mac for just 59 bucks a year. That is less than five bucks a month for security and safety. It gets better. Use the offer code TECHZILLA to start your free 15-day trial. You're gonna get two months free if you decide to buy. All the details are at Carbonite.com. And do us a favor, use the offer code TECHZILLA. You're gonna get two months free with your purchase.